Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel and the topic for today's video is landforms and this is the first video on this topic. So landforms is two words, land and form, basically the different types of land. So landform is a feature on the earth's surface that is a part of the terrain. Mountain, hills, plateaus, plains are the four major types of landform and the minor landforms include butties, canyon, valleys and basins. So the flat land topography is termed as plains and a highly elevated area with a pointed, well, pointed peak is known as hills or mountains and a elevated surface with a flat top is known as plateau. So there are different forces which form those landforms. The endogenetic forces like the tectonic plate movement, volcanic eruptions and the exogenic forces like erosional work, depositional work by water, wind creates landform. And the process takes a long period of time. It takes millions of years to form the landforms. So different types of landforms, the major types of landform are categorized into mountain, plateaus and plains. Let us look at them individually. So first we will start with the mountain. So what is a mountain? A large natural elevation of earth's surface rising abruptly from the surrounding level is termed as mountain. So usually the mountains are present in a series of uh, peaks which is termed as mountain range. The single mountain is a very rare phenomenon. The Question is, what is the difference between the hills and the mountain? There is no specific definition or classification between the hills and the mountain. However, some of the geologists have said that more than 600 meter in altitude from the sea level can be termed as mountain. So there is no specific classification or differentiation between hills and mountain. However, there are prominent characteristics of the mountains. They have a very steep slope and the peaks are very pointed and the population density in the mountain is very low is because the transportation facilities are not much available and they do not have a fertile soil which does not encourage agriculture okay so because of that the population is very low in the mountainous area it also acts as a barrier between the different regions for example between the uh, himalayas between china and india next is plateau so plateau is a flat elevated landform that rises sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side. It is also termed as tableland because of the flat extensive top. So the plateaus also can be formed by different processes both endogenetic and exogenetic. So upwelling of volcanic magma, intrusion of lava, erosion by water and glaciers are the few uh, causes. For the plateau also, there is no such kind of elevation. However, uh, 150 meter above the sea level with a flat top can be considered as a plateau. Now, there are different characteristics of plateau as well. It is a storehouse of minerals. Population is very moderate and grazing and forestry activities are much more popular in the plateau areas. For example, Chotanaku plateau areas of India is uh, high abundant uh, mineral resources are found in this area so mining activities is very popular because of that the population is also moderate in this region so the next landscape or the landform we are going to discuss is plain so what is plain a plain in geography is a flat sweeping landmass that generally does not change much in elevation so it can occur at the doorsteps of mountains, along the valleys, along the coastal plains or at the top of the plateaus or uplands. So plains are one of the major landmass on the earth because it covers almost one third of the world's land area. And it can be formed by the deposition of flowing lava or deposited by water, ice, wind or can be formed by the erosion from the hills and the mountains. So it has also different uh, characteristics like extensive flatland, fertile land and very densely populated because of the presence of extensive uh, flatland, the transportation is much more developed, the fertile soil agriculture is much more developed. For example, the northern plains of India has a dense network of transportation as well as the presence of fertile soil which also uh, influence the uh, agriculture in this area and which supports a large amount of population in the northern plains of India.
So with this we end our video. In the next video I will be explaining the classification of uh, mountains. Thank you for watching. If you like the video then please share it and subscribe my channel.